Hello friends, in this video we will be synthesizing aspirin or acetyl salicylic acid by the acetylation of salicylic acid. For this synthesis you will need 5 grams of salicylic acid, 9 milliliters of acetic anhydride and 5 drops of concentrated 98% sulfuric acid. Start by fixing a 100 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask on a stand via a clamp. 5 grams of salicylic acid was transferred to the flask using a powder funnel to prevent spillage. Next, 9 milliliters of acetic anhydride was added to the flask. The acetic anhydride was added in such a way that it washed down all the salicylic acid residue that was present on the powder funnel. Next, 5 drops of 98% sulfuric acid was added to the reaction mixture. The Erlenmeyer flask was then immersed in a boiling water bath and steering was turned on. Within a minute, all the solid present in the reaction mixture will dissolve and a clear solution is obtained. Continue heating for approximately 15 minutes. This is when the reaction proceeds to completion. What is happening here is the acetylation of salicylic acid using acetic anhydride as the acetylating agent. After 15 minutes of heating, the hot reaction mixture was poured into ice water. Here, there was a minute mistake from my part that I used cold water without ice cubes. When the reaction mixture was added, the contents of the beaker got hot and the acetyl salicylic acid remained in the solution. This actually turned out to be lucky for me because on cooling down the acetyl salicylic acid started to crystallize in the beaker. The beaker was then placed in a refrigerator overnight for complete crystallization. The final product was vacuum filtered. Vacuum was kept turned on for 3 to 5 minutes for sucking out maximum water in order to get a dry product. The final product weighed 5 grams. Now let us see the calculation part. Here the limiting reactant is salicylic acid. So 1 mole of salicylic acid should give 1 mole of aspirin. That is 138 grams of salicylic acid should yield 180 grams of aspirin. 5 grams of salicylic acid would then give 6.5 grams of aspirin and this is the theoretical yield. The practical yield was 5 grams so the percentage yield was 5 divided by 6.5 into 100 and that is 76 percentage. That's all in this video. Hope you have enjoyed the video. These are all my Patreon supporters who are financially helping me so that I am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for doing new videos. You can also support me financially via Patreon or even PayPal. The links of both of them are given in the description. Thank you for watching, do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and don't forget to click on the bell button so that you will be notified about my future videos. Thank you.